Well, just out tonight, uh, getting some final touch-ups on the bow, doing some walk-back tuning, and uh, a lot of customers that come and I tell guys, you know, when I'm done tuning your bow and, you know, you get your sight marks made and stuff, especially on like a, a driver's sight to uh, go back and walk back tune. And it's a term that most guys might have heard of. And for me, it's just to verify that my arrows are going to shoot straight at a longer distance. Um, I've gone through and I've double and triple checked my level on my sight, my third axis. I'm shooting 3D this weekend, which not really going to have much up and down. But on field, off like a field course, I definitely would be uh, checking more of that uh, those angles and stuff. But anyways, um, so I'm just walk back tuning and what that is is basically i'm drawing a line on my target uh i shoot i shoot my first arrow at 20 yards top of this line okay then i walk back to 40 yards and i shoot my 20 yard pin at my first arrow and it should fall in line with my other one. And basically what that's telling me is that my sight is level and that way when I start walking back, if my bubble is off just a little bit, that my arrow doesn't start walking left or right. Obviously I'm shooting in a building, but I'm still standing outside. Uh, 40 yards is just right by my pickup. I'm shooting a 23 sized arrow, so any kind of wind is definitely gonna affect it. But, you know, this was my first arrow. I was six clicks to the right. And I couldn't figure out why shooting at a 3D target outside in the wind, I had to hold six inches to the left to compensate for it. At 35 yards, I shouldn't have to compensate six inches. Come back in, double checked it. One, two, three, boom. I made it six clicks to the right, and that brought my point of view or my point of impact in line with that. Now, if I was shooting a field target, I probably would look at this and try and get that more in the middle. Now all three of these arrows were shot at 20 yards. I stepped back to 40 yards with my uh, 20 yard pin. Now, again, there's a little bit of wind where I'm shooting. Uh, you know, it's probably a 25 mile an hour gust outside. So half this target's inside, half, I'm, half of me shooting is outside. But this arrow here was the first arrow. Uh, I went back into the shop, made a small adjustment on my level next two arrows right here boom boom i would say that's pretty much in line again i'm shooting a 40 yard max out of 3d target with a 23 size arrow this is a little bit bigger than a regular hunting shaft now if i was shooting a field target with a field arrow i probably would be looking at a little bit more precision but at the end of the day um this is gonna work I'm going on to texas this weekend so hopefully that kind of helps some guys uh, that are working on their bows and, you know, even guys that have dropped, picked up their bows from me and I've told you, uh, you know, how to walk back to and, you know, I throw a lot of information at you when, when you come pick up your bow and you get home and you scratch your head and like, yeah, I don't remember. But this is pretty easy. Shoot your 20 yard pin, top of a line, go back to 40, shoot it again with your 20 yard pin, make adjustments with a level um, it requires, you know, a, a good bow vise, and I use a Hamsky third level tool. I've got the second gen uh, Hamsky that I put on the on the bowstring, but you know, just having the right tools, you look for precision. Um, yeah, it's just getting ready for a tournament, making sure that you're precise, you know your equipment, and when you show up, like I've never been to Texas, when I show up, my equipment's going to be on. 